Here's an update on our berm. One year ago, there was a tree right there, which we removed and had uh, sliced out most of the trunk. We were working on making this soil healthier and we planted some perennials. Um, our wildflowers that we planted are doing pretty well. For the first time, we have actual flowers, very pretty. Of course, over here we have allium. I don't know if that will pop up next year, some allium bulbs. Over here, tulip bulbs. And in the center here, those little purple flowers that I like. Um, of course, it's just grass now, so we'll see how it uh, continues to evolve uh, next year. I'm probably gonna plant something back here as well because there's a lot of soil and maybe off to the side here, we're thinking about zebra grass. We're getting a lot more color today. Got some purples. We got some of these, I don't know what are these called? Brown eyed Susans, is that what those are? I don't know what they are. I'm not gonna try to name things. Oops. And then <laughs> around here, we got a larger yellow flower, lots of purples, and then we got this interesting looking one right here which i assume is going to keep growing up that cone this is the current state of our perennial wildflowers those blue flowers there they tend to close up later in the day um so the best time to get it is in the morning it's about 10 30 now i think as the sun kind of starts to beat down on this area um I think the blue flowers tend to close up, so look at these pretty things. Really interesting flower. And lots of beautiful flowers. I think I see four different kinds of flowers in our perennial flower bed here. Additionally, <clears throat> come on, buddy. Our, let's see, now these ones aren't going so well, but these ones over here, uh, butterfly bushes are starting to come out. And they're smelling good. Mm. I swear these flowers remind me of like garb that you would see at a Renaissance fair or something. I don't know why. <laughs> has that velvety look to it? I'm not sure. Um, so this is August, it's August 11th or 12th, and this is the update. These little blue flowers definitely do not last past the morning when the sun starts to beat down here. The blue flowers literally fall off. You can see a scattering of the petals here. We have just about decided that we have some weeds in midst here that do not belong, but we're really not sure. These are all kind of weedy flowers, to be honest. Don't tell them I said that. But um, yeah, we're gonna kind of pick out, we already pulled some out that we we were suspecting were not actual, they were kind of stragglers and tagging along here in our little experiment. Um, but we're not sure, <laughs> it's hard to say. We've got a lot of the, um, what are these called, black-eyed Susans? A lot of the purple flowers, a lot of the fun garby flowers there. So cute. And these grasses are actually spreading. Uh, they seemed really small for a long time, but I'm noticing that they are starting to sprout, starting to get bigger. I had always heard that these tend to spread a lot, but I hadn't seen any indication of that until now. Yeah, that's, that's getting bigger, spreading. It is September 7th now. These grasses are looking big and healthy. Um, we're having a bit of a rain, actually right at this moment we're having some rain. Um, the only thing I'm really seeing are the black-eyed Susans. Oh, excuse us. <laughs> and maybe some of those, some of those other ones, it could be that they're kind of damaged by the rain. They seem to be pretty delicate. 
A lot of those brown-eyed Susans, black-eyed Susans are still there. Some of them are have died off, and so I should really deadhead those. The grasses are looking real nice. And I would say most everything looks pretty much the same. There's still a few of those lavender flowers and a few of those red ones. All right, it is Halloween time, as you see here. And in keeping with the theme, we have lots and lots of dead flowers. I did mean to deadhead a lot of these. I'm not really sure that's appropriate, but there it is. Just the end of the season. Only a few flowers are left and we have nice dead ones to go with the theme of Halloween. Ooh, oh, 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 oh.